on tonight and hopefully you can dry off. As the Dahlia passes through Eastern Carolina, we wanted to see how people are dealing with the rough weather. News Channel 12's Amanda Denise talked to a woman who lives in a flood prone area and she's live in New Bern tonight. Amanda, what can you tell us? Hey Val, yeah, well right now what I can tell you is that the rain has been going on. It's been stopping and starting back periodically. Right now it's a little heavier than what it was earlier, but I am actually standing at the New Bern River front and I'm going to step out of the way just so you can take a look behind me if you can see the boats already here. Um, we are expected to get some high surge. I know I was over at Union Point Park earlier today, another area that is prone to flooding for a storm such as Adalia, and I actually spoke to a woman in there about how she is preparing for this storm. Now, she did say that she uh, filled up her gas tank. She also said that she uh, made preparations with family uh, in Raleigh just in case she needed to go by and live with them. Now, Union Point Park um, is an area that flooded during Hurricane Florence. And while we are not expecting to see that type of flooding now, we are expected to see uh, a lot of a lot of rain, so people are taking precautions for that. But listen to what Sarah Russo had to say about how she prepared for this moment. We've been watching the news for the last few days and mornings. We filled our car up with gas. We've notified different family members and all that we have in Raleigh to see if maybe we could take shelter there if needed possibility. Now, she also said that one of the fears that she has regarding this storm is that they will have to evacuate and she will not be able to reside in her home uh, during this time. Uh, we will continue to monitor this area and we will be reporting live uh, from New Bern all day tomorrow and in multiple times throughout the night. So just stay with us. Reporting live in New Bern, Amanda Denise.